What's up, guys? Welcome back to another, yet another episode of Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, you finished the, uh, the game yesterday. Why are you playing more? Well, if you actually watched the episode, you know why, because, and if you also read the title, you'd know why. We're going to be playing through the game again, and as well as playing a, an extra stage we didn't play through as Richter, as Maria Renard, who is easily the best character in the game. Uh, you, we saved her in stage two, and yeah, she's fully playable, so we're going to play as her. Uh, we're not going to do the prologue since it's literally just nothing, so we're going to go to stage one, Birthplace of Tragedy. And play with her so we're gonna show off how exactly she works so she has slightly a slightly different HUD than uh, Richter does now the main difference with her is that she is a glass cannon and she takes more damage from enemies but she has like freer movement with her with her jumps her main attack was with with these uh, birds which she could send two at a time with and they go through enemies they collateral uh, and yeah, they're very overpowered on anything. She could also double jump, as you can see, which you could do to, uh, to like fix any of, your any, of any of your jumps if you've misplaced one. And all of her sub weapons are completely different compared to Richter's. While Richter has his classic Castlevania Belmont sub weapons, Maria can summon these animal friends, such as these two birds that go upwards, and we're gonna show off some more later. I believe she doesn't have item crashes. I can't remember. So, a lot of these uh, animal buddies are actually very well uh, shown off in the uh, Castlevania Nocturne anime, as far as I've seen it. So now we have the little tigers here, which is which they're way more massive in the actual in the anime. Uh, can we read the sign in this? No, we can't. Can I? Can I read the sign? Yeah, Algeba. Yeah, I just wanted to read it just for fuck's sake. So yeah, uh, Maria absolutely shreds through this game like it, it's not uncommon to be able to beat stages without taking a single hit uh you still have to be careful though of course you don't want to take any damage because she like she will die very quickly if you're taking a fuck ton of hits but with her double jump being able to avoid a lot of attacks and get through a bunch of really crazy platforming segments it really isn't that bad and as well as being able to reach high up stuff like that because their birds have insane hitboxes like, look at that. We did take a lot of damage there, but that guy died instantly as soon as he was in my range, so fuck him. Now we're gonna go straight down. Let's just grab the, uh, the meat for hell's sake. Oh, we do have item crashes. I forgot. I thought, for some reason, I thought Richter could only do item crashes. Again, that's what happens when you haven't played this game in two years. Anyway, we're just about to hit the boss of stage one. These episodes will be much, much shorter than the Richter ones, especially the finale, which was fucking an hour and a half. I don't know how the fuck that happened um but just for the just from the fact that maria is such a breeze to play as she also makes the game like really fucking fun as well where with richter you have to like really really get good at some stages and really plan out your shit here you can just like kind of just free flow shit and you're good which isn't something you could do in a lot of the classic castlevanias which i actually really enjoy it's a nice change of pace you can do that kind of shit in the metroidvanias of course but not in these ones Anyway, we're about to fight the dragon. I'm gonna keep the tiger, because we, oh my god, we have a lot of hearts. Uh, what is, what is the item crash with the, uh, tiger? I forget. I don't even know if it's gonna be very useful against the dragon, considering he's very high up in the sky. Oh, well, let's try it. Oh, we have to be on the ground. Oh, okay, it still goes in the sky. Okay, well, that didn't really do anything. Okay, this fight might not be the most fun with Maria, considering she doesn't have... A very good, uh, very good sub weapons for hitting in the sky, but I'll still take advantage of what I got. Yeah, see, there we go. Look at that. The fucking birds shred bosses, mainly because, like, they'll hit them multiple times in one shot because of how they just go through like that, which the whip can't really do. So let's do our nice little jumping pose. Yeah, let's go. I also really love uh, Maria's animations, like, they look so smooth whenever she jumps around and her hair goes all over the place and shit. Of course, Brickers looks smooth as well, but I guess they put more effort into Maria's animations, because... Obviously, she has more shit that would, like, flow all around. Anyway, fucking Christ. Alright, stage two, the one that weirdly gave me a lot of problems, uh, beforehand. Okay, we have the birds back. Which really aren't going to be very useful right now, because... 
Well, first off, these crows can suck my fucking dick. What? How do you feel getting, like, absolutely ravaged by these tiny-ass doves? How do you feel? Okay, well, now I'm getting fucking ravaged. Okay, get out of here. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, the egg. I forgot what that does. What's that do? Oh, okay. I forgot that was an actual thing. That's kind of cool. I guess that's useful for some boss fights. Uh, for the one in this stage, though? Probably not. Okay, look at how easily... You shred through the axe armors. Holy fucking shit, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, Maria is so fun to play as. Uh, anyway, I just got off of streaming uh, Yakuza 0. I was playing through Chapter 4, and man, what a chapter. That was extremely good. It leaves on a cliffhanger that had me actually pissed. Um, now, I did take a break since then, uh, so that I could get my voice back. It wasn't even that long of a stream. It was like two and a half hours, which for me is pretty short. Because I usually do like three and a half, four hour long streams. Okay, these these eyeball things are still annoying as shit. Well, at least finally we could fully enjoy the game again now that we're not dying every other fucking life, every other stage. Okay, we got the turtle, which I don't really want right now. The turtle's useful in other situations, but I think he's the least useful of the uh, the animal friends. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry, my fucking uh, nose is congested. I don't know why. Like, it's just randomly like that right now. Anyway, yeah, we're shredding through this stage. And if you want to check out my playthrough of Yakuza 0, which is a full blind playthrough of the main game, as well as doing sub-stories later on, you can check those VODs out on my uh, Danception Stream Archives channel, which archives all of my VODs for you guys to see. Um, which I really recommend checking out, because... Got a lot of shit on there. I got a big backlog. I think I have like 130 plus uh, stream backups on there, which is insane that I've streamed that many times. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream the other Yakuza games though. I might want to keep those for myself because story based games, a lot of the time, I would like to just kind of just go through them at my own pace, you know? But this is a special case where like I just wanted to do this because I started it in 2022. I got to finish it. And one of my friends has been hankering to get me to play it, so yeah. Anyway, as you can see, we could just skip the entire uh, the entire sewer section there, and we can not awaken the beast there, and we're gone. Yeah, this this episode is gonna be short as hell. It's gonna be like 15 minutes, which is an actual. <coughs> oh, my fucking throat died for a second. Jesus Christ! An actual decent length uh, fucking video, and not 40 plus minutes like every single one of mine has been. Alright, what the hell is the item crash with the egg? Does it turn into the dragon? No. The dragon's pretty rare to get. It's like, it's like as rare as the, uh, the stopwatch, I believe. Not as rare as the healing herb from fucking Castlevania Chronicles. Holy shit, that, that sub-weapon is so rare to get. I think I might have gotten it like four times so far in my full arranged playthrough and in my current original mode playthrough. Alright, let's test out. Oh, there's no item crash with it. Are you, are you serious? Oh no, there is. Oh, I just have to hold up with it. Or no, I was just in the air, I guess. Okay, that's not a very useful item crash, I'm gonna be honest. How many hearts does it take up to use? Oh, it only takes up five, okay. Okay, yeah, it's not it's not useful at, in the slightest. Okay, Jesus! I didn't realize how little health I had. Fuck. Okay, well, uh, still, at least the fight's not as bad as the Wolfman. Uh, from, uh, or the werewolf, whatever you want to fucking call it. From the, uh, Chronicles. Uh, that one stage in Castlevania Chronicles in the Clock Tower where he just starts throwing everything in the moon at you. It's crazy, dude. Oh god, speaking of which, now that I'm done Castlevania Chronicles, I gotta get Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. But first I have to actually get a PSP. Because I do want to play that legit. It's like, it's, it's a kind of uncommon game. It's, it's like, it's, it's like a... $50 game, which I'm more than willing to spend for something like that. Um, and it includes the entirety of this game. I'm pretty sure like this version of Dr Rondo of Blood and the uh, Symphony of the Night version included in this collection are based on the PSP versions. Because the playable Maria in Symphony of the Night is based on is the exact same as that one. Anyway, Jesus. Can, can you get out of here, please? Dude, dude, thank you. Yeah, do your shit. I'm not gonna, it's not going to hit me. Get fucking tea bags. Fuck you, bitch. Eat bird shit. <laughs> Literal bird shit. I'm literally bird shitting on you. The fuck is this pose? 
<laughs> the fuck is this fuck ass pose, dude? Anyway. What was I talking about? Yeah, Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. I am interested in playing that because there is quite a few changes from uh, this game because the main portion of the game is a remake of this game here. Oh god, I'm still gonna have to be careful with these guys no matter what. Oh, I am dreading stage alternate 5 because I, I just remembered how much of a crazy stage it is. It's like eight minutes if you do it perfectly. It's just this giant marathon stage and doing that as Richter, that would be its own video if I tried doing that shit. But thankfully, Maria will make it just a little bit easier. It'll still be a challenge, though. Because like I said, you have to be careful with Maria, even if she's very free-flowing in her combat. Anyway, this stage is going to be an actual joke with her. <laughs> I guess, like, in, like, the next episode, I might as well show off some of the, uh... Some of the alternate stages as well. Or not the alternate stages, the alternate exits that I haven't shown off yet. Like, I'm pretty sure there is one in this stage that I haven't shown. Oh god, I'm taking stupid damage. Uh, there should be some meat in here, though. Oh, I, oh yeah, I forgot. Her meat is changed with... Or her meat, no. The the pork chop uh, that Richter gets is replaced with a parfait, I think. Uh, for Maria. That goes for another few... Like, a few, there's a few things that are changed up with Maria. Um, such as some cutscenes when we save the uh, other girls. Which I'm probably going to show in the finale. I'm just going to show, like like clips of each one of those um alongside the uh, dracula cutscene at the end because i feel like i should show the complete picture because i'm already going through and showing everything off anyway as well as a full playthrough as this character can okay, i get out of here skeleton man stop swinging around you're not fucking tarzan jesus fucking cr okay no don't get stuck on there okay give me that give me the egg that's i'll take it It'll probably be semi-useful for uh, the Minotaur fight. Or I guess I accidentally drop it and get the tiger. Okay, that's actually more useful for, this, for the Minotaur. That is if I survive, which isn't a guarantee. Alright, these guys are an actual joke with these birds. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I get, I get a book? Oh, okay. You know what, I'll show that off. Why not? I already showed off the tiger. I'll show off the book. I forgot the book is an actual thing. I forget the entirety of how Maria fucking works. Other than her, like, core, like, mechanics. So, this is definitely an interesting learning experience. I can actually show off the top path now. Holy shit. Because I'm probably not going to fall here, considering I have a whole double jump. I can just save, I can just save myself if I almost fall down. And these Medusa heads are an actual... Everything's a joke when you're playing as Maria. Holy shit. Like, see, look at that. We got through. Give me that parfait that's in there. Thank you. What are those statues up above? What the hell is this pose that Maria... Like, she looks up for a second and she's like, nah, psych. What the fuck are those statues standing on the skulls for? Oh, my god, the creaking skull. I forgot about this. I don't think I ever showed this off. Yeah, so there's, like, a little bit of a mini-boss here. Um, He is, like, an actual mini-boss. He takes quite a few hits, but once you kill him... Oh, uh, which should be soon. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. The bell rings, and I'm pretty sure it drops Parfait for you. And I think you could hit it again for something else. Yeah, for a heart. Can I hit it more times? Oh, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> no, I forgot that shit does, it does that, yeah. At least it's not like Castlevania Chronicles where that, like, that, um, the meat spot in stage one for Castlevania one is uh an infinite spawner of those guys that's really mean oh god i think we can still fall down if we're not careful so we're gonna have to be care oh fuck off oh god oh god oh god oh god chill 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 okay thank you no i want i want i want the songs i want to beat the minotaur with power singing you could actually put these candles out by the way like they're regular candles um which i don't think i can reach that high up with maria i could try i can okay there we go. Yeah, you, you could do that. Uh, there's not really much of a reason to, because there's nothing too good that you can get from it. Okay, there we go. I was just jumping back and forth to be, like, careful. I don't want the turtle. I want the songs. Come on. I want to sing fucking, like, something. I want to sing fucking, uh, Bakumitai and kill the fucking Minotaur. What does this do? What's the point of this? Can I climb up and destroy that? I can. Okay. What's that do? Nothing? Okay, sure. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Alright, let's fight the Minotaur, bitch ass. 
Yeah, these episodes are going to be so goddamn short. Ooh, the dragon. Nah, I got to show off the dragon. Now nah, you already know. You already know we got to do this shit. Alright, I'm pretty sure it takes like three or even five hearts to even use them normally. That's not even counting the item crash. A whole cake! Are you sure you can eat all that? Like, that's a big ass cake. Like, the big the cake is bigger than you. I'm pretty sure you cannot physically eat that. But sure. Alright, the Minotaur is actually going to become a whole joke with a dragon. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's, it does take over five. But I have to be on, like, even ground with him to be able to hit him. That's the problem. That's the question! That's the question! Come on, die. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Whoa, okay, he, that was close. That was super close, too. Jesus. And he's gone. Oh, that almost killed me, but there was no platform to jump off, so I'm lucky there. Holy shit. Alright, let me do a nice hop off of here. I'm, I'm gonna do some swag strides here. Check this out. The double jump hop into it? Let's go. Look, at that was not really impressive, but it, it, it's something. It's something, alright. Ooh, an extra life. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Atop thy courses of thy brethren. Yeah, I forgot all the stage the stage names are different. I forgot to uh, point that out for you guys. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode of Rondo of Blood Maria style. Maria style. That's not what it's actually going to be called. It's still going to be called Rondo of Blood. It's just you're going to see Maria in the thumbnail. Uh, so yes, player select, switch over. So in the next episode, we're going to cover what we did before with uh, my boy Richter. We're gonna cover, uh, we're gonna start cover stages four, five, and s uh, okay, four, five, and alternate two. That's what we're gonna do. And the next episode is gonna be three, four, and then alternate five, and so on and so forth. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these shorter episodes of Maria more than the actual Richter ones, because I'm gonna be honest, those dragged on way too long, but that's due to my own shitty ass skill. Anyway, see you guys next time.